Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. Just two weeks ago I posted my predictions regarding web and the software industry for 2021. For today I will talk about 10 trends which could dominate web industry itself. These trends are not coming from my side, but they are on global scale predicted to dominate through this year. So, if some of those not succeed in that, then that was just the wrong prediction. Also, these 10 trends are not sorted in any type of order. They are going by randomly created list. So, let's start with uh, the first one. I would like to start off this list with single page applications. Those are not in any way of form uh, new to web development. We have single page applications for quite some time now and they are already dominating the market. With frameworks like Angular, React and Vue, uh, which are leading frameworks for this type of technology, uh, single page applications made uh, to the very top with React being the most popular framework. Some pros of those are very obvious, as they absolutely minimize the page load and make it even faster. We don't have to have those long web uh, structures and those could work great on desktops and mobile uh, devices. Next one would be AI and machine learning. As we have this huge technology development and new upgrades through every few months, we eventually learned how could we create AI and ML projects. No matter if we plan to create chatbot or some type of algorithmic calculation software. In the last few years, AI and ML grew to the point where more than 80% of the companies today use chatbots, which are in some way or form uh, AI type of a project. For AI and machine learning, now we have platforms like TensorFlow through which we can also build uh, our own machine learning projects with already built-in uh, blocks for it. Cloud computing and development today is a branch that is worth more than 300 billions of dollars. Many businesses and companies that uh, use a SaaS business model contributed to this uh, huge growth of cloud uh, that we have basically today. Companies like Microsoft, Amazon and Google continues to grow just because of the cloud technology. Cloud itself offers great security and flexibility when it comes to the data storage. Getting into the cloud development today is hard, but it also pays off as we should see huge growth of cloud computing by the end of 2021. Cybersecurity will grow, not just in development, but in the importance also. With today's technology, we as developers could develop nice projects, but also hackers can develop and organize better malware attacks. According to studies, more than 50,000 websites are breached by hackers every day. In recent months, we could see growth in malware attacks and that's why the security will grow in development. Softwares like Dashlane or Avast could offer nice uh, layers of security and we as uh, everyday internet users should use some of those to prevent malware attacks and have better security in global. Blockchain had uh, its uh, rise up few years ago and it was uh, steady growing for quite some time. In recent months we could see huge growth of Bitcoin which led to blockchain technology to grow uh, once again. Bitcoin itself grew for stunning calculations almost doubled its worth in a matter of weeks and months. Now we should expect more cryptos development by the end of this year as the market of blockchain technology is estimated to grow almost 70% from 2019 to 2025. Next to cryptos, blockchain can improve also identity and access management, distribution, security with Internet of Things and also much better analytics. For many years now, we can use native apps wherever we are. Mobile applications are all around us and they've been dominating the industry for almost a decade now. 
With mobile frameworks like React Native and Ionic, it's been easier and more accessible to developers to work on mobile-driven applications. Even web developers that use some type of a framework can easily shift from web to native development just by updating its skills by one. Voice search and recognition uh, has been up for quite some time. With projects like Siri, Alexa, Google Home, we can more easily access the information without even moving a finger. All those voice-oriented hands-free gadgets have their own platform and in recent years we started even creating applications based just for those platforms. So users and customers of voice recognition systems could easily access their data, statistics and analytics or just play some game. It is very interesting that almost 27% of global online population are using voice recognition to search through web or mobile and that number will just grow. Next one would be motion design. For quite some time, uh, main web design was based on minimalistic look. With the recent uh, growth of motion design, we can now have minimalistic look but in the same time fill the platform that we are working on. Motion design should have well organized and contemplated UI and UX design so the motion can bring its nice transitions, moving charts, pop-ups, menus and scrolling animations. Motion design is not visible just on web but through mobile and software industry also. According to Breezer, uh, progressive web applications ensure 50% higher customer engagement in comparison to native applications. That's why we saw growth of those through 2020 and they will continue to grow through 2021. Progressive web applications uh, have their own adapter responsiveness, better speed almost uh, up to 10 times, cost is reduced, uh, applications are based on smaller scale, security is enhanced as those don't need to be connected online at all so they could work offline also. Still, systems that uh, does not support uh, progressive web applications will probably work through this year on that exactly, but it is still hard to estimate and control progressive web applications. Serverless architecture or computing. With this we are able to build and run applications and servers independently, which means that application uh, will still run on a server, but server is managed by some other platform like AVS. By that we don't need to think about scale and maintaining the server itself. We can just easily run our applications, storages and databases as we wish, as it also offers better security, so no doubt that serverless will soon reach new heights. With uh, this type of architecture we are able to easily deploy, better scale, reduce development and also increased flexibility and the strength of the application. So this will be all for this video, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw today, please click like and subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and see you in the next video. Bye bye.